M0FXB, welcome to my channel. As you can see, we've got the OpenSpot 4 Pro in the middle and the UVIAJ on the right hand side, or otherwise known as the R Finder, if you get the one with the Pi Zero and the Pi Star system inside it. These are about £180. They have a built in battery, very portable unit, very nice to look at, good quality, feels good quality to hold. Very happy with this, and the battery will last all day, no problem at all. The OpenSpot 4 Pro, what's the number one thing people buy these for? Cross modding. And you do need to get the Pro version if you want the full cross mode, unless you've already got an OpenSpot 3, which also does that. The OpenSpot 4 does cross mode, but it doesn't on D Star. Now there's a big price difference between the 4 Pro, £300, it's a smaller unit. For some reason, they don't make a stand for it. I don't understand why. So if I move away my this unit, which stands no problem at all, it will just fall over, and it's sort of holding it up. I mean, it's nice the way it will slip into your pocket. There's no doubt about that. And the battery life on it is okay. I think fully charged, it would probably last, you know, you know most of the day, but not day and night. This, this thing would be on day and night. It's got big three, three large batteries in the bottom there. So... Here it is now, now running my hub net. No, should I say, the, this one here, the R Finder unit is now running on the HD one. Sorry about that, I'm confusing myself. So let's just key the mic and just give it a quick, quick test. M0FXB test, M0FXB test. Okay, and you can see you get your history there. Let's turn that down your history, all the information on the screen. The open spot, you have to use the interface on a computer, laptop, PC. They have brought out an app. You can actually, if you buy the pro version, you can actually TXRX with no radio. Uh, with the previous models, you can receive with no radio as well. So this is pretty good. So let's just, at the moment we are connected to the UV. Let's, let's change this to my other zone. So just go menu, down, confirm, zone and we're going to flick it to my open spot which is see it flashing red that means it's TXing there you go right let's turn it up that's band B you're seeing there you can actually silence band B by just put, putting the clock on press hash Silences it, so let's turn it up. We did have a contact there. See it flashing red, we're just waiting for someone else to call through. Right, so let's hear this chat going on. That's the Overspot 3 flashing away. Oh, his audio is not too clear, is it? Sorry for that, no, not nicely. You're hanging also with your lips too near on the microphone. Like, <coughs> like that, you know. Now, okay, my friend. Have a great day. Have a nice weekend. God bless you. So there you go. And both of these devices send through all the CSV data as well. So which one? Do you prefer a screen? Do you prefer the price? Do you prefer cross mode? Which one do you prefer? I, I rate both of these. But I do think having this, and I've had this in my pocket, you know, Shows you how much charge is left. This is probably my favourite one because I can look at the screen. I know who I'm talking to on the screen. Uh, it's just good. I just like it and that's it. So 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.